Okay, right over there I see some guys uh, fishing. Uh, let me see, I'm going to interact with them and see if actually uh, I can have a, a short interaction with them and I see if I can get some fish. If I can catch some fish, but right behind me is the Miami Heat Sports Stadium. So, uh, let me see if I can go interact with these guys. Here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a jet plane, I'ma do it all for you. Come along and see it's true, but the world is pretty cold. You might need a sweater too. I'ma put a ride on ya. Get from California. You gonna teach me how to fish? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, my name is Matt. I'm from Ghana. My first time uh, here in Miami, and I'm putting like uh, videos together for my trip. But uh, I'm I was just passing by, and I said, "Okay, I live by the coast. I'm from the coast, okay. so I'm going to uh, spend some time with you guys and see if I can catch fish." <laughs> so, who is going to teach me how to catch a fish? Oh, you're going to teach me right here. All right, so. But I'm really good. I live by the coast. My, my dad is a fisherman. This one, he's he gonna teach you. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> the best fishers that you can find here in Miami. Oh, awesome. All right, all right. He's, he's the best? Who is the best fisherman? <laughs> yeah? Okay. So, uh, how many fishes have you caught so far? A, a little bit, but you don't speak. You uh, are not speaking English. Do you speak Spanish? Oh, yo también, yo hablo español. Si. Yo hablo español. Yo estuve en Colombia. He caught fish. Uh, indeed, you are the best. Here for the money, I ain't here for the fame. Though it might be nice to own a gem. Okay. When you're bringing it in, you're reeling it in. That's what it's called, reeling in. You're reeling okay. the line in. Pretty much reeling all the line in. Once you have right. the line, <laughs> You hold the line. Okay. You hold the line. You unloose. Okay. The rear. So it can pretty much. So the, by the time it's time for you to throw it, it unravels itself. So okay. you just throw in the whole line. Okay. So once you throw, it's gone. See, it's unraveling. Oh, okay. Once you let it, you let it sink up. You let it sink. By the time you let it sink, give it like five, ten seconds. You tighten up the line and you just wait. You sit and wait. Okay, so then how would you know if like it's hooked up? By the time it? you're getting hit, you are, you'll know. You'll know by the time you're getting hit. So how do I hold it? <laughs> yeah, just hold it on regular tight. You can hold it from here. Okay. Tighten it up. With this left yeah, hand? Yeah, yeah. And just wait. You can just wait. All you got to do is wait. And is it going to be like I'm going to feel? If, if 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 it's a blue runner or a jack, he'll grab and run. Okay. If it's a if it's a snapper, not touch out of ten, he'll grab and try to look for a hole. Okay. Yeah. So the best bet is to when you feel it, snatch and reel. All right. Snatch and reel. Come on, guys. We are here in downtown of Miami, and I'm learning how to catch a fish. Even though I know the traditional way to get a fish but this is something new for me. Not to the time you might not get a bite because you know you're letting the fish know that hey. <laughs> Let me throw it in again. You see, you got bit. Uh, but then how did that how did that happen because without realizing? Because you were reeling it. Because you were reeling it. You had to let him. You had to let the bait. You had to let the fish eat. Okay. Let the fish eat the bait. By the time you realize, he he notices. When he realizes, he got the hook in his mouth. Ah. Uh, that's what it's all about. But I still have, I still have. You have the bait. So you hold the line, unloose, and then you throw. Unloose. Yeah. I ain't here for the money. I ain't here for the fame. So it might be nice to own a jet plane. I'm a yeah. I'ma put a ride on ya. Came from California, trying to make it in life. And how is nightlife here in Miami? How's nightlife? Like? South Beach. Yeah. You put the heavy one of Winwood. Yeah. Nighttime? Not night time during the day. I would recommend South 
Beach. A lot of South Beach is a lot of drama going yeah. on. Mayside, maybe Winwood. Um, you also have Brickle. Mm -hmm. You can go to Brickle too. Yeah, okay. Brickle night, at night time, it's beautiful. It's very nice. Okay. You might want to try it out tonight, especially Thanksgiving. You might want to try Brickle and then. Patience, they say, moves mountains. So though I couldn't catch any fish, but I caught patience. I learned how to wait and how to be patient. In life, if you don't have patience, there's no way you can catch the fish because you need to wait for the fish to take the bait. It's the same way you need to be patient in your marriage. You need to be patient in your family, you need to be patient in your business, you need to be patient with your finances. Hold the line and release. Yes sir. Now I throw it. There we go. Oh, I got it. Uh -huh. The rain, the rain has gone away too much now. Yeah. Hey, how do you call this fish? Flounder? Yeah? Yeah. Wow, that's that's cool. Bring your life to a dream. My peers wouldn't believe what I'm running out of breath. The dialect, the Garifuna dialect. It's a Honduran, it's an African dialect, actually. We have a lot, we have so many dialects in Africa, a lot of yeah. them. And in one country, it's difficult to understand each other. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened to Tor the, uh, Torre de Babel? <laughs> the Tower of Babel, man. Oh, man, come on, get a fish, come on. Yeah, man, I'm going to you got to sit and wait, you got to wait, man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If they're coming back and forth by the time they come, you see I'm getting hit right now. Mm -hmm. I wanted to rent a, rent a car, but then I didn't know how the rules, in terms of driving, how does it work here, because I didn't want to have issue with the police, so... Just make sure you get to follow the, the rules, the red lights, you know, you got the stop signs too. Okay. Make sure you follow the rules. You drive by, um, at least 30, miles, 30 to 40 miles per hour, depending, that's it. Make sure you know you're not a driving excessive. Drive the, the regular speed limit. Oh man, I'm out. Bring out your coats. Bring out your sweaters. It's not telling when this weather is gonna get better. Cause I remember the moments when I was not as good. You don't need to push yourself. You don't need to be in a hurry to get to the destination. Let destiny take its own course. And I assure you with patience and determination, you would arrive. To your destination thank you very much for watching this video go subscribe to my youtube channel if you haven't done so and um, thank you for watching to the end of this video and then thank you for subscribing and sharing my video yeah where are you guys from i'm from brazil i'm brazil, from brazil. oh nice amazing I, you know i was in colombia and uh you actually live here right yeah we live here. nice i want to have like a first-hand knowledge about um, accommodation, people, food. So how is it easy to blend in here in, in Miami? Because I see Miami is an expensive uh, <laughs> city. I mean, it's it's not. <laughs> I think it's easy because there are so many options. Okay. So different things you can try or places you can live. Okay. So that's great because if you go to smaller cities, then you don't have that option. Oh. Okay. And then. 
just do what you have to do but I think here is awesome all right so how much is like um, a, a month how much is the rent here Yeah. Oh, you live through the school. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. All right, and um, the city, how do you find the city? I love it. I love it. Yeah, beautiful. The what the people, everyone. Yeah. What I, like the, what I like the most is the weather. Yeah. It's similar to Brazil, so uh, it feels like we are at home, you know? Oh, nice. Yeah. Nice. We have friends, they study in Boston. Okay. They are always complaining about the weather yeah. to us. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's amazing. Back in my country, the weather is pretty much like this, so I'm I'm enjoying the sun. So yeah, that's that's the thing. It's, yeah, it's, it's very simple. So yeah, it's good. And what about women? Amazing. <laughs> oh! All Latinas, all Latinas. Yeah, beautiful. I was in Colombia, Ecuador. Uh, Colombian women are beautiful. They are, yeah. They are beautiful, I, I but know. Brazilians yeah. are. Yeah. I mean, awesome. if, if you have the chance, awesome. if you have the chance to go to Brazil, you should go to Rio. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you're, gonna, you're gonna have a great time there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, fala portuguese. Fala portuguese. Fala portuguese. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, guys. All right, have a nice one. <laughs> okay, you hear from these you guys from Brazil. Miami has um, diverse people from different um, cultures, people from different parts of the world. And it's pretty uh, beautiful to live in a, a city, to be in a place like this where you have people from different parts of the world and living and having fun um, Miami is beautiful you have many different people living uh, from different parts of the world these are students living here and they live through the school so they don't spend that much on rent they didn't have very much information about how much it, it costs to, to live here in Miami but I think uh, on average it's not that expensive, it shouldn't be expensive living here and studying here in Miami. Hello, how's Miami? Really hot? 